Chris Ariola against Seth Mitchell. Let's get into this one. <clears throat> now, this fight's a very interesting fight. Well, interesting because you've got two heavyweights coming together, both name heavyweights. Um, Seth Mitchell coming off a win against Jonathan Banks and Ariola taking a 12-round beating off of Stiverne. Now, I want to point out that Ariola, you know, got off the deck against Stiverne. He fought bravely against Vitaly Klitschko and was that box by um, Thomas Adamek. All three guys there have got good chins. Um, Stiverne, although he got knocked out, um, you know, he, obviously in that fight he showed he probably that made Dan's experience rather than anything else. Um, Stiverne showed he could take a punch and was able to do what he had to do and showed very good boxing skill. Uh, I believe Stiverne was former, fought in the amateurs as well, had a very good amateur record. Um, but let's get down to it. For me, I've interviewed Seth Mitchell before and, you know, Seth Mitchell's a really nice, cool guy, a former pro, uh, pro football player or American football player, for those of you in the UK. Um, he's a nice guy. But if you look at the Banks fight, the first fight they had where he got knocked out, if you look at the second fight, it was exactly, I think it was the same round. Um, Mitchell got hurt by Banks and Banks didn't finish him off. To be quite honest with you, why Jonathan Banks didn't finish Seth Mitchell off, I don't know. I really have no idea whatsoever why Jonathan Banks didn't finish Seth Mitchell off. Because he had the power every time you hit Mitchell, Mitchell's legs would go. So this fight for me, I don't care how much boxing skill that Seth Mitchell has. And I don't think his boxing skills are, no disrespect to Seth Mitchell, I don't think they're that great. You know, he's got a decent jab, he's got decent power. Um, and of course, if he catches Ariola, he could hurt Ariola. But for me, I'm going to go with the guy who's got the heavier hands, the better boxing ability, the better chin. And yeah, and the guy, yeah, I'm going to go with Chris Arioli on this one. You know, um, I just think that Arioli is going to finish off what Jonathan Banks really should have done with, with Seth Mitchell. Um, Mitchell's going to have to box like never before um, against Ariola. I'm not saying Ariola is the best boxer in the world, far from it. But I think fundamentally he's got decent boxing skill. Uh, he's fought some of the best punchers in the world. And although he got dropped again by um, Stiverne, he got off the deck, fought with a damaged nose and still did well. Uh, you know, relatively well. I think, um, as I said, I think that, you know, Ariola wins this fight as soon as he lands something heavy on Mitchell because as soon as Ariola lands something heavy um, I think the fight's over for me um, Ariola's got a decent jab throws right hand behind it you know when Ariola gets going but again problems with Ariola will he come into the into the fight in shape you know that's the big thing the, the nickname of Ariola is the nipple uh, so they say boxing fans um, Ariola's, but then to be fair, Ariola's gone the distance. He went the distance with with Stavern and you know, although he looks always looks out of shape, he never looks like Mr. Universe. But like I said, for me, I'm going with Ariola in this one, um, simply because of punch resistance. I just don't think as nice as Seth Mitchell is, I just don't think um, he has, you know, the boxing ability to outbox uh, Chris Ariola. I don't think he's able to take the power that Ariola has. The heavy handedness. Yeah, Ariola's not a one punch knockout merchant. But having said that, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if he, you know, he's heavy handed enough to stop Mitchell. So, Ariola by stoppage inside six. I don't see this fight going into the second half of the fight. I think Ariola will press the action and when he lands, he stops Mitchell. Cat, could Mitchell stop Ariola? It's heavyweight boxing. One punch could change everything. And if he does, fantastic to Mitchell. But I don't think so. I think the Mitchell story comes to an end, sadly, against Ariola. Why Seth Mitchell is fighting Ariola, I have 
no idea whatsoever no idea because for me you know it looks he looks very vulnerable around the chin and for me you know better he cash out against uh, someone like Vitaly uh, Vladimir Klitschko you know and if you're going to get knocked out you get knocked out by a heavyweight champion of the world and there's no shame in that but to you know skip past Banks in a very still questionable way and then go on to fight Ariola. credit to Mitchell for taking a fight but I don't know I'm not sure if I personally would have matched Mitchell up with that with him anyway those are my thoughts let me know what you think I'm out